Hey guys, welcome back. In this uh, project, what we are going to do is take the vibration sensor that we made some time back. This is a high sensitivity vibration sensor. Uh, it basically has a piezo element, which I have a, a weight glued on top of to help uh, with increasing the sensitivity. Um, that is feeding into an op amp to amplify the uh, signal out of the um, piezo. And that is going into a comparator. We have a uh, potentiometer here to adjust the threshold uh, of sensitivity for the comparator. And what we have is the output of that the digital signal, this blue wire coming into the uh, Arduino. Uh, you can see if we actually uh, gen do a gentle vibration that that red LED is lighting up. Um, in fact, this is sensitive enough to easily pick up somebody walking uh, uh, over across the other side of the room. Um, now what, what uh, the Arduino is running is a sketch that actually counts the vibration events like bumps and it, uh, it only triggers if it gets a certain number of vibration events within a certain period of time. So um, it's really looking to filter out just a spurious bump and, and pick up the actual vibrations. Now what I've also done with this circuit is I have put a read switch on here. So think of an application where you're trying to detect vibration, but you only want to alarm if you know something is open, like a door is open or a tailgate's down. And so you know it's picking up vibration events all the time, and you can see the red LED firing, but it's not actually firing the alarm because the read switch is is still in a closed position. So if I move this apart, and now I generate some vibration events, you can see the alarm going off. I just generate one spurious bump, you know, or bumps over an extended period of time, you'll see it's not alarming. Only when the read switch is open and it generates enough bump events or, you know, vibration events within a short period of time will it go off. So this could be useful in an application like a, a door open, you know, alarm or a tailgate down alarm. It can sense when, for example, a car or a truck is in motion, uh, if, the, if the door or tailgate is down. It can sense that, and it can uh, it can fire up that big um, LED. And for example, if that shows up in the rear view mirror, um, you know that alerts the driver that uh, that that they need to close. All right. So um, if you like this, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, we'll be building on this project in subsequent blogs. So subscribe if you're interested in in getting those updates. Um, have fun.